Guys, what's up? It's your boy Joe Simmer and check it out, man. In today's video, got a really, really, really dope shootout, man. This was a shootout, a shootout gameplay, man. Passing attack, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? Um, but check this out. In this game, I'm running 3-3, so nickel 3-3 normal to 3-3-5 wide, at least for the start of the video. Now, I want you to see what I'm doing, okay? This is really important. Is what I'm doing is I'm subbing everybody out and then I'm resubbing them back in. Okay, so there's a reason for it. So as you see, right, I sub Carmichael out, I subbed him back in. I subbed out, you know, whoever, and I subbed them right back in. That may look really pointless to you, but there's a reason for it, okay, as I'm going to explain here in a second. But that's just what I'm doing. I'm going here, and then I'm setting audibles. Now, the reason I do that is because whenever you're in packages, I don't know if you can really see, but in the bottom left, whenever you're in packages, guys, and you're switching through your packages, depending on the package, it's going to switch players, okay? So whenever you sub them out and then you sub them back in, they don't switch. So Carmichael will always be in the strong safety position because I subbed him out, subbed him back in. I ho hopefully that makes sense. All right, let me try to explain this one more time. But when you sub out all your guys and then you sub them back in in the same spot, whenever you flip through your packages, they will still be in that spot. So hopefully that's a little bit better explanation. But as you see, I'm switching through packages and now they're not shifting. So my corners aren't shifting. My safeties aren't shifting. Everybody's right where they need to be. That's the benefit of that. And what I do is I go to safety nickel blitz. Okay. And then I'm just setting audibles. Now what I'm doing here is I pause the game. I pause the game. And then what that does is it resets the shot, uh, not shot clock, but it resets the play clock. All right, so I can have a little bit extra time, right, to adjust. And so what I do here, boom. So I want you to look at my strong safety, all right? So look at my strong safety here. You've never seen this type of zone before, right? So what happens is that's the benefit of the safety nickel blitz package is I can put these safeties on like a diagonal outside uh, third, I guess you could say, because this guy's on an inside third. Usually you can only put them on an inside third or a deep blue or an inside quarter. And inside quarters where they shoot straight up in the seam, All right? So it's like a skinnier kind of blue. So my strong safety, which is Carmichael right here, now I can put him on like a blue like this. That's the benefit of the, and I'm not going to pause it like that. Hopefully not, not too many times, but the, what that does is help with corner routes. And I have a defensive video on that too. Um, I'll try to see which one and I'll leave it down in the comment section, but that's just, you know, what I did. So I was able to uh, put them in different zones and, and stuff like that. So this guy is really good, man. He, he was quick guy can me and it was hard to get my adjustments off, but I'm going to three, three to three through five wide. Luckily I got there, but I'm running the same thing. So luckily my defense got there and I was able to get a stop, but boom, you know, that was my responsibility and I didn't follow the tight end. So that's on me. You know, you can't be giving up stuff like that. But uh, this guy had crazy dots and I was dotting too. But every time you're kind of seeing the same thing. Okay, you're seeing a lot of the same thing that I'm doing is whenever I have a, a safety like this in the corner, I don't I don't have to worry about corner routes. So that's why I did the packages like that. And then all I have to worry about is everything kind of in this area and then down below. Okay. But I'm going to let it play. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, look at the user. That's a pretty good user. And look at this. I got mossed. <laughs> so I... I mean, I don't know about all that, man, but I feel like, I don't know if that should have been touchdown, but I mean, that's fine. You know, bigger, uh, bigger offensive guy. Check this out, right? Boom. Nice little dot right here, man. Valdez Scantling. Um, this is a different team. So I was using Flacco in this video. This is one of my older videos too. So I was using Flacco. This is before I got Mike Vick, but Flacco was bomb, dude. Flacco... Flacco was good. He was a good QB for a minute in this game. He was really good. But as you see, boom, nice little, nice little read. You know, this is something I want to show you right here, right? Is whenever someone's zone drops, I was running verticals. And so whenever someone's zone drops or, or far back, see this guy was in a, 
This guy was in a, uh, this is not a cloud flat. This guy was in a deep quarter. And so that's going to leave this guy open. Boom. And then Flacco definitely hitting the money, man. I had no problems with Flacco. He was great, but I'm doing a lot of switching as you see. So I'm flipping. I'm doing a lot of flipping with my formations just to try to catch him off, off guard and just to try to um, mess with his coverage, really. Nice little check down. Derrick Henry. All right, but... Um, so I'm running flood right here, and then I flip it, right? I'm just trying to... Just trying to confuse him. That's really what it comes down to. Just trying to confuse him, trying to get something going. This right here is one of my favorite combinations, Okay. So I motion over the tight end. And as you see here, I have the C route. Okay, so I have the C route on green with the streak. So what that ha what what happens there is no matter what, usually this this cornerback uh, this corner right here is going to follow the streak which is going to leave the C route open. So this is a lethal combination. A, a lethal route combination that a lot of the pro players use um Specifically, who did I see running this? I saw Young Kiv running this a lot. He's one of the best bunch players, you know what I mean, to ever play Madden. And so he was running combinations like this. And so I'm I'm implementing this in my game. You know, this is a great combo. You got the streak with the C route, man. That C route is going to be money like nine out of ten times. As you see, I saw him late. And then, you know, he steps out of bounds. And then I'm flipping to from bunch to tight and then i just quick hike and try to get something going right nice little juke move and so he's not playing too aggressive he's playing a lot of coverage and stuff like that right here i'm in uh i think i go bench i go bench switch and then i fumble so that's another thing is you guys know i don't really play on conservative because i like to journal because journaling man one move and it's a touchdown but the cons of that are you're gonna fumble all right so, you know, pros and cons, I guess, you know, you pick and choose your battles. I prefer to play on balanced stuff like that. Now, as you see here, I'm doubling. Where is it? Let's see. Hopefully I can show the play art. Boom. All right. So I'm doubling this defensive end because I need a little bit more time. And then I should have ID'd this guy on the opposite side, but... I'm just trying to come up with a route at this point. You know what I mean? But as you see, watching that middle guy, boom, Carmichael right down the middle, man. Great little fourth, fourth down play. So I go to trail, boom. And then I have the C route and I have um, Derrick Henry on the flat. Everybody's going to the left side. So I know that may not look... It may not look like a good combination, but having everybody going to the same side like this, this route combo, this is a great route combination. You know what I do? Just kind of motion him over, and then I'll streak him. So I'm running that same combination, the one I just went over, right? The streak with the C route. I'm telling you, the streak with the C route is just lethal, man. It's great. And as you see here, boom. See what I mean? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Boom, touchdown. Excellent play right there, man. Because, I, like I said, check this out. Whenever you streak homeboy, the, the corner is always going to go with the streak. Like 9 out of 10 times. He's always going with the streak route. Boom. He, gets, he goes to the streak route. I have Flacco, and Flacco puts it on the money. You know, that's, that's just the benefit of that route combo. But as you see, I'm moving Carmichael to get that corner every time so I don't have to worry about the corner route. And I'm usually shading outside in this video, uh, but that was my responsibility was the middle. So that's just, I mean, that's just too easy. You can't give that up. You know, I feel like that's, looking back on some of the things I do, man, I just shake my head, but you know, you adjust as you go, right? So I go to match right here and I think I'm playing cover four. Let's see, what do I end up doing? I'm, I'm re-watching this with you guys. So I have it off and then I have match coverage. Yeah, I'm running cover four. Okay, yeah. So this is something that I like to do when I'm in 3-3 three, three normal is on the strong side, what I'll do is I will, um, I'll move my linebackers. I'll shift my linebackers to the strong side. So that brings this guy down. So this hook curl right here helps with the little streak route. And then 
this guy kind of just huddles around this area so I can just take the short routes and everything over here. So that's something I like to do. And sometimes it completely bags, especially if you're on match coverage. And then I just have to take the running back as you see, and then, you know, it worked out in my favor, right? But I don't know about that one, man. I think that one should have been a pick. But we all got to get bailed out eventually, right? And then I play just simple man coverage. And he runs a screen. I forgot about that. Yeah, this guy this guy was running screens and stuff, you know, which which is smart on him. I'm, you know, don't really expect screens much. And then, boom. Freaking Gronkowski, man. This was at the time when he, he was amazing. But, you know, Ben don't break right here. 18 seconds left, right? Shade down. I'm just making adjustments. And then, boom. Nice little gap shoot, man. You guys, you guys got to know how to at least try to shoot gaps. And as you see here, I'm expecting the screen. I knew the screen was coming. Watch my user. So this right here, I'm running cover six. Shade down. So as soon as I see the, all of those linemen go to the right, I know it's a screen. And so I'm like, okay, I need to get over there. And then I just get stuck. I don't know what happens with Peppers. And then, you know, Jerome Bettis ends up bulldozing for touchdown but it's important to recognize these things you know what i mean start of the second half nothing open throw it away you know live another down throw it away but this is one of the plays that i go to all the time if you watch my videos you know and then boom i get uh he held me to a fourth and five he caught it and i ended up getting pass interference i was like all right cool right so i'm a I'm white side bunch Looking at his um, looking at his abilities, his defensive abilities. Uh, this is a pretty good route combo. I forgot who I got this from. Somebody came up with this route combo. I forget. I think it was Skimbo. But I streak the um, I streak the the outside receiver. And then I have the tight end on a corner, and usually that corner is going to get just completely open. The problem is you need a lot of time for this one. A lot of time for this one. So there's that. Boom. Nice little play. Fourth and six. He didn't catch it in bounds. That was a crazy dot by Flacco. And so I run basically the same thing. Right? Yeah, bad pocket. That that's that's actually really bad pocket. When you look at something, this is actually kind of bad pocket. See, right here, I should just stay right here the whole time. Because what happens is if I move too far, this 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 defensive lineman fortunately went to the opposite side, but usually whenever you move out of the hash like this right here, that defense alignment is just going to completely disengage. And so that was actually terrible pocket, but that's okay. Way to look downfield, you know, regardless, I was throwing it because it was fourth down. I was just going to throw it deep. So that's good. And then I come over here, you know, try to give, you know, Henry the ball. Boom. Give Henry the ball again. Right. Little sidestep. Let's go. And then I got tackled, man. Yeah, I do remember that. I was like, I was so close. Okay, and then this is the next play. I think I was looking for Carmichael here, okay? Because Carmichael, I think this is why curl is, I think, the play. So I go. I think I'm looking for Carmichael on this play. He, he, he goes in and then up, and depending on what that safety is in, you know, if that safety drops down, it's a touchdown, and then if not, I just watch his user because um, I'll probably have the post open, which is green. So this is a this is a pretty good route combo. There there are some games where I'm on point with my route combos, and then there are some games where I'm just like, what am I doing? Boom, yeah. So that's it right there. I saw the safety come down. That's just a perfect read. You know, you gotta look downfield. Gotta look at all your receivers. 14, 14, fourth quarter. And this is where things get spicy, man. Strip fumble. Strip fumble. Let's go, man. So this is my chance right here. 
take the lead and then just play defense, right? So you already know you already know who I'm going to, right? Just quick hike, give it to Henry. Chew some clock. You know, because I feel confident, feel like I'm gonna score. Just keep giving it, feeding him the rock, man. Feed him the rock. And then I get sacked. Yeah, I get sacked, and then I try to take as much clock as I can. Um, this is a W regardless because it's free points. You know what I mean? There's you don't want to go for it in that situation. You never want to go for it in that situation because it's free points. So worst case, I get an extra three points for nothing. So you got to be really smart with how you do things. And then as you see, I'm in three through five wide, right? So I go to three through five wide and I have my, see, I notice it's a, okay, that should have been a pick. But what I want to show you is my, my zone drops and stuff. I think, let's see, where's the play art? Boom. All right, so I have, a double Mabel over here, right? At the inside. Um, in the, I have the mid read on the free safety. Uh, this hard flat. So what I'm doing is I'm shading down. And so uh, I have this hard flat to, I think I put them on 25 and I have a curl flat to 15. So just playing lots of coverage. You know, if you want to play lots of coverage, you you can put the, the flats at 25 and then the curl flats at 15. And when you shade down, so what happens when you shade down, everybody's going to be in a hard flat. Then you readjust these linebackers right here, okay? So when you readjust these guys, put them in curl flats, and then that's when that's how you can do that. But this is really good defense. But my user, um, I recognize that, you know, boom, that should have been a pick six. GG's. That's what that should have been. But I'm cool with that. You know, I, I know the screen's coming. If they run a screen once and get me, I know the screen's coming, right? And so as you see, I'm kind of staying in the middle. Excellent, excellent read, excellent throw by Brady and this guy. As you see, I have no answer for him. He has, you know, no answer for me so far. And then look at Ward. That's an insane lob. I mean, holy smoke. What a, what a freaking pass. What a pass and throw. You know, I'm pressing. Look at him. Look at Ward. He just got... The guy just ran right by him, man. So that's one of the problems when you press somebody. I think Green at the time, I think Green was the best receiver. You can't, you know, you can't press. I should have backed him up, you know, if anything. But I'm okay with that. You know, we got a minute 40 left. And so what I'm going to do is just go through my reads, you know. Go through my reads um, and just make stuff happen, man. But as you see here, boom, nice patient. I mean, uh, just nice patience in the pocket, man. Go to go to flood right here and just quick snap. Okay, boom. I pass, juke. And so this is, I'm in every position to win this game right here. Right, so I end up going to bench. Quick hike. So as you see, I'm quick hiking. Trying to quick hike him, trying to get him off balance. Trying to score. So this right here is, um, this is a excellent play right here. So I have the out route, especially it being third and two, 28 seconds left, right? The last thing I want to do is get down to a fourth and, you know, a, a fourth and two, right? So I'm looking for, you know, um, uh, Valdez scaling right here, got the out route, got the corner, got the streak. So what it's going to come down to is it, it's going to come down to the streak or the corner, depending on where their safety goes. If the safety is on an inside read or, or a, a inside a mid read or something like that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit green and just wait for him to get open, right? And so he's watching green. He knows I'm trying to go green, right? So what do I see? Boom. Check out that free form. I don't know if you guys could see this free form, man, but you got to pass lead to the outside. I don't know if you see the arrow move. But that was just a great, that was just great patience, good pocket. And now watch the arrow. You see the arrow here? Boom. All the way over here. That's why you got to get your freeform settings down. 
you got to get your free form settings down you got to get the speed i have plenty of videos on free form but if i throw a normal pass without free form that either gets intercepted or gets knocked out but because i free formed as far as i could to the left then it was just that's just perfect throw man flacco was a man i was like let's go baby let's freaking go man so he needs a touchdown to win you know what i mean so i'm doing here playing a kind of like a shell i go to cover six i always i play lots of cover six and then right there boom let's go man right let's see this was to seal the deal man but look at this defense right here okay so a uh, short side i usually like to run this combo so i usually run cover six cover six is an it's an amazing coverage if you can run it man but usually short side i'll have the cloud flat with the deep blue okay and then um wide side i'll usually have the deep zone because usually on the wide side you'll have the outside receiver going on a streak usually so that's why that's just my philosophy on it and then i'll leave the curl flat for like a, uh to get the slot guy and then i'll take everything in this area but this just worked out perfectly um i had you know he saw i i know he saw gronk and he gave him a chance but that was just a bad pass really and um good click on by me and so you know that was it man that was it to wrap it up but as you see in high level games like that man it just comes down to one play but what i wanted to show you in this video was that defense i just lots of good defense um lots of good defensive tips in this video man and you know don't forget that free form man check out my other videos make sure that you guys are getting your free form down i don't know if free form will be in the in madden 24 could be it could not be but just make sure you know and usually in any formation if you're going to sub your guys out and then sub them back in on defense and that's um substitution screen then you can flip through the packages and they won't switch so just a little pro tip but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown and i will see you guys in the next video much love peace out